Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today I have a very interesting and unique video for all of you guys. In today's video, I'm recreating six of the craziest and coolest nail hacks I saw off of Instagram. This will be my first time completing these, so I'm really excited to see what we end up with today. In this Instagram video, they show you how to achieve the perfect gradient and extension by simply squeezing two different poly gels directly to your nail and a dual form. So I'm taking a bead of a milky poly gel and also a colorful one and applying them directly to my nail plate. Then I'm taking our dual form and pressing it against the poly gel. Then, with my brush, I am evening out the material from underneath. I'm letting that cure underneath the lamp and then removing the dual form. Then, I am taking my nail file, filing away the unevenness on the edges and cleaning up a bit by the cuticle. And voila! Now, just for a little decoration, some chrome powder. I wouldn't exactly call this a nail hack as it's pretty much a modern approach to dual forms. It definitely did turn out pretty nice though. However, achieving a perfect gradient effect every time will call for a brush. The second design is not only a nail hack, but also a nail challenge. This design has a cute little bead at the tip that you can turn. So I went to my nearest craft store and bought some wire and beads. And for this design, I will once again be using dual forms. I am taking the dual form that has been filled with acro gel, I'm pressing it to my nail and letting it cure underneath the lamp, nothing out of the ordinary. And before letting it fully cure, I'm taking a nail clip and placing it on the end of my nail to narrow out the tip. Now for the most interesting part, drilling a hole on the free edge. At first I thought I would have enough space to do three little beads. Um, but as I drilled my nail, I realized just how much room one little bead will actually need. Once I have fully drilled the hole, I'm creating small incisions on the side for the wire. Then I am simply sealing everything in a top coat. And here it is, nice, secure, and I can turn it. Further, I decided to add some decorative details in a white gel paint. Our third design is this super cute and cool sweater pattern done with molding clay. And I'm most excited about this design because it really does look like something knit. So I'm starting off by creating a background, adding a little acrylic powder, and then rolling out a little noodle of clay. Once it has been attached to the desired area, I'm taking an orange stick and creating all of these small knit details. Unfortunately, I was only able to find white molding clay because this would look so cool in different colors. Another way to create this cool knit effect is by taking a small noodle of clay and gently twisting it. Then all that's left is to let it cure underneath the lamp.
this next nail hack is really going to surprise you. I've coated my nails in a base and a solid color gel polish. For this design, we will need some thin, lightweight chain and nail tips in a stiletto shape. I couldn't find any nail tips in different sizes, therefore I'm going to have to make them by myself with dual forms and poly gel. Then I'm coating the tips in this gorgeous red and sprinkling some beautiful glitter on top in both black and red. Using these two different glitters gave it an almost gradient effect that I really liked. Further, I'm taking the small chain and attaching it to the back of the nail tip with some clear poly gel. I'm letting that cure underneath the lamp and proceeding to attaching the chain to my nail with the same clear poly gel. Well, are you guys ready? This design definitely is just for fun and not everyday life, but I actually do like it. This next design might not be what you think. It does seem like a really cool idea going around with nails that can light up, but I found out that those flashes of light only work while using an app so it's really only cool for taking a picture. However, I found an alternative. These LED nail stickers I found on AliExpress are NFC readers. That means that the LED lights will start flashing automatically whenever it's near the NFC signal. So I'm attaching the stickers and coating the nails in a red gel polish. It was a problem thinking about which gel polish to use for this because if I use a semi-transparent polish, the chip will shine through. But I was also afraid that if the polish is too dense, you won't be able to see anything at all. So I'm coating it lightly and then sealing everything. And here they are. They're not as eye-catching, but they are glowing. Still haven't given this video a big thumbs up? Well, maybe this next nail hack will help. This last design is a classic, press on nail tips. I haven't used these kind of nails in a really long time, so this definitely will be fun. These press-on nails, unlike the press-on nails I had used a long, long time ago, have double-sided tape, so there will be no gluing. The shape of these nails is actually pretty nice, and it seems like they hold on quite well. I was surprised to see all of the different sizes and shapes for these press-on nails, but one of the biggest drawbacks with these is that they won't fit on everyone's nails. For example, if your nails aren't very arched and are rather flat, then these nail tips just won't hold on well. Press-on nails are always fun, but not great for everyday use, and might not give the most confidence. And here we are, six of the craziest and coolest nail hacks off of Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed it, and maybe I even surprised some of you. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.